Kia ora from New Zealand, everyone. I'm Donna Louise, and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. Today we will be playing with dinosaurs. I want to thank Genius Games for sending me their dinosaur puzzle set. These are three jigsaw puzzles, floor puzzles from their junior division, 100 pieces, double-sided, and one side glows in the dark. I mean, what's not to love already? Dinosaurs, double-sided, glow-in-the-dark. I'm, I'm so excited. And even though these were gifted to me, I promise I will give you my honest opinion of them. And I really have high hopes, so I hope it doesn't disappoint. I've asked Wendy's grandson, Angus, to help me play with these jigsaw puzzles. I'm an adult. I figure it would probably be good to get a kid's opinion as well. I asked him which dinosaur he wanted to build, and he said the Ankylosaurus, because that's the best dinosaur. So I'm saving this one to do with him. However, I will build the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Um, the jigsaw puzzle is approximately four feet long, which is about 122 centimeters. So I'll build it in my garage. My understanding is the front side is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And then if you flip the jigsaw puzzle over, you can see the skeleton, the inside of the dinosaur. And that's what glows in the dark. So I'll build the jigsaw puzzle. I'll film that, then I'll flip it over, and I'll let it grab some sunlight, and then I'll come back and hopefully I'll be able to capture the glow in the dark on camera. But first, let's have a look at the box and what's inside. Now, I already took a peek, and I know that this is not just a puzzle, it's educational as well. So during the time lapse, I'll read you facts from the leaflet that's included about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. But let me show you all that by getting a close up with my camera. So here are three boxes with the various dinosaurs, Ankylosaurus, Triceratops, Tyrannosaurus Rex. The box has a lot of information on it. You know exactly what you're getting. A floor puzzle that glows in the dark, 100 pieces, and it's reversible, it's double-sided, approximately four feet long. Um, one interesting fact on the front of the box, I'll point out now and then I'll show you what it means later. Notice that it shows the little skeletal um, depictions of the dinosaurs as well. This is orange outline, a blue outline and a green outline. I didn't really pay that much attention to that at first, but it is important. On the back of each box further shows the skeletal of each dinosaur and it shows that it glows in the dark. So I'm pretty sure this is the side that glows in the dark. And it gives some extra information about the various dinosaurs and gives you the dimensions as well. So the box is very, very informative. Now, sometimes it's the small things and I don't know why, but when I first opened the box, I was pleasantly surprised. It's a little bit of Velcro right there holding the box shut. I don't know why, but I thought that was just genius. <laughs> And I was a little tickled pink. I was like, oh, that's so smart. It'll help keep the box shut. Inside, we have our big bag of pieces. These are nice big pieces. We'll open that up in a second and get a closer look. And then we have our little leaflet. So this one is particular to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It shows the outside of the Tyrannosaurus Rex with some fun facts. And then the other side shows the skeleton of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and more fun facts. And then inside, it talks about things like dinosaurs in general. Why do we study dinosaurs? What happened to the dinosaurs? Can I study dinosaurs too? I do believe this information on the inside is the same in all three leaflets, but that's, that's really fun. So it's a learning experience as well and lots of interesting fun facts and I'll share those with you during the time lapse. The last thing inside the box is a piece of marketing. They do the Dr. Livingston anatomy jigsaw puzzles, the junior ones as well as the full size one. And then on the other side, it shows a couple of the board games that they also have as well. So I will include in the description below their website and any other social media links I can find for them. I do know recently they did a Kickstarter and just like these three dinosaur jigsaw puzzles, they made animal jigsaw puzzles. Similarly with the outside of the animal and then the skeleton of the animal. There was a shark, I believe a tiger and an owl. And the owl looks so cool. I don't think those are available for sale just yet because the Kickstarter just recently ended, but hopefully soon because they look really, really cool. So now let's open this bag of pieces and let's have a good closer look at these pieces. I'm gonna take the 
extra material out and I'll put these pieces at the bottom. I'm hoping these would be really sturdy because kids will be playing with these. Oh, wow, okay. These are sturdy pieces. These are big, nice, chunky pieces. I like that. I like that very much. And you can see there is something on the side with the bones that's a bit shiny, and I'm willing to bet that'll be the glow-in-the-dark effect. But the other side is nice and matte, so that's really cool. Not too much glare. Now, what I wanted to point out, you see how there's the green outline, the side with the bones? Each dinosaur has a different color on the side with the bones. So if you do get all three puzzles, and kids tend to mix things up all together, you can then easily separate the puzzle back based on the color of the outline on the side with the bones. So the green, Tyrannosaurus rex, the blue will be the Ankylosaurus, and the orange will be the Triceratops. I thought that was really, really smart because it would be kind of frustrating if the kid mixes all the pieces together and then can't figure out which one belongs to who. So yeah, that's a, a smart little added benefit there that they did different color outlines for the different dinosaurs. Now I'm hoping the jigsaw puzzle isn't too difficult because there's not like a big poster of the jigsaw puzzle. I'm hoping that this image will be big enough for me to build. I'll let you know in a minute though. Then again, like it's for kids and you want it to take some time and be fun. And so I'm hoping it's a bit challenging, but not too challenging. I wonder if they have an age range marked on the box here. Um, it just says not from zero to three. That's all. It doesn't have a recommended age range, but that'll be interesting to see if I find it quite difficult to build. And then when I do the Ankylosaurus with Angus, we'll see what he thinks about that as well. But as of right now, the pieces are sturdy and nice, nice good size, matte nice finish on the side with the design of the dinosaur. And there is a shine to the side with the bones, but that's the glow in the dark effect. So, well, there you go. I'm excited. I hope I can build this. My goodness, you do have an image of the inside too. Okay, let's hope it's not too difficult. <laughs> Imagine I find it tricky and then Angus comes along and he's like, this is no problem at all. Well, he is a pretty smart kid. So for the love of puzzles, let's just dive right in and let's see how well I can do at building a Tyrannosaurus Rex. In 1902, Barnum Brown, a fossil hunter from the American Museum of Natural History, discovered Tyrannosaurus rex in Montana of the United States. He also discovered other dinosaurs, such as Ankylosaurus, and was nicknamed Mr. Bones. The Tyrannosaurus rex teeth were wide and dull like bananas, not sharp like a knife blade, but they were strong enough to crush and puncture bone. The largest tooth found is 30 centimeters long. More than 30 Tyrannosaurus rex specimens have been discovered in Montana, Wyoming, and South Dakota of the United States, as well as Alberta and Saskatchewan in Canada. Dinosaur bones contain growth rings, similar to the rings in a tree trunk. By studying these rings, scientists have discovered that Tyrannosaurus rex lived up to about 28 years old. Tyrannosaurus rex means king of the tyrant lizards. Henry Fairfield Osborne, the president of the American Museum of Natural History, gave the dinosaur this name because it is by far the largest predator to date. The Tyrannosaurus rex may have weighed between 5,000 and 7,000 kilograms, which is heavier than four cars. Tyrannosaurus rex lived between 68 and 66 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. It lived at the same time and place as the Triceratops and Ankylosaurus. Triceratops was one of the largest horned dinosaurs. It grew up to 9 meters long and weighed well over 5,000 kilograms, about the size and weight of a school bus. These creatures were herbivores, eating tough and fibrous plants such as palms and ferns. Triceratops had up to 800 teeth. Old worn out teeth were constantly replaced with sharp new ones. It could use its horns to help eat by knocking over tall plants. Large wide frills protected Triceratops' necks. Puncture marks on fossil frills suggest that male Triceratops may have locked their horns together to fight each other, probably to impress females during mating season. 
It is uncertain how fast Triceratops could run, but some estimate up to 30 kilometers per hour, enough to beat most humans in a race. Triceratops had a very narrow, hard beak at the front of its mouth like a parrot. This may indicate it had a more selective diet than other plant-eating dinosaurs, which had wider, broader mouths. Ankylosaurus had semicircular plates of armor protecting its neck and rows of spikes along its body. It was bite-proof to even the largest predators. Ankylosaurus had 72 small leaf-shaped teeth. It likely had a varied diet, including pulpy fruits, abundant ferns, and low-growing shrubs. Its tail club could be used as a defensive weapon capable of breaking the leg bones of an attacking predator. A small tail strike from an ankylosaurus would feel like being hit with a bowling ball. Ankylosaurus was one of the last and biggest armored dinosaurs, a group of medium-sized, four-legged herbivores with body armor, sometimes including tail spikes. What happened to the dinosaurs? Humans and dinosaurs never lived together. Millions of years before humans existed, a huge asteroid hit the planet and killed all the dinosaurs. Most of them died within moments of the impact. Raining debris warmed the atmosphere to hotter than an oven. And unearthed sulfur deposits turned the oceans to acid. For the few that survived, the following days brought raging global wildfires and ash that blocked out the sun. The entire Earth's ecosystem was affected and 70% of all species went extinct. I had so much fun building these jigsaw puzzles, a lot more fun than I expected. And I had a lot of fun with Angus, who's eight years old, and we did the Ankylosaurus together. I Hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly now. He corrected me on the pronunciation, Ankylosaurus. That's how I believe it's said. And while we were puzzling, he was giving me all these facts about the dinosaur. It was a lot of fun. Now, I really enjoyed the pieces. They're nice and thick, they're big, they're sturdy, and a variety of piece shapes, like not just standard prong shapes. And it was good. It was easy to build the jigsaw puzzle if you looked at the shapes. However, it was a tricky puzzle. So I asked Angus if he would be able to, thought he could do it on his own. And Jesse, his mom, thought that if he really didn't have too many distractions, he would you know, eventually get there and build the jigsaw puzzle on his own, but it depends on the child. And he is only eight years old. I think a 10 year old, you know, who enjoys puzzles would be able to complete them on their own, just take their time. But no, it's a shaped puzzle and I find shaped puzzles to be a bit tricky, but it was a nice challenge and it was educational, it was fun, it was colorful, it was fun to do with Angus because he was telling me so many cool facts like, the Ankylosaurus, if it were to fall over, it would have trouble getting up, kind of like a turtle, as opposed to dinosaurs with like two main big hind legs would be easier to get up because they could use their front legs to push themselves up more, as opposed to the Ankylosaurus that had like four shorter legs. Hopefully I'm saying that all correctly, but it was just fun to build and to do the jigsaw puzzle with him. So he's taken that one home and they're gonna expose it to sunlight and see how well it glows in the dark tonight. Now you would have seen photos of the glow in the dark part. I had to like process them to make it show up on film, but trust me to the naked eye, it looks really good. The glow in the dark does look really nice. Honestly, I have no complaints. These puzzles were amazing. I think they would be lots of fun. I think any kid that likes dinosaurs would enjoy them. And even if they were a bit young to do them, doing them with an adult would be fun. And eventually as they got a bit older, they would love doing them on their own. The fact sheet was pretty cool with all the information included. These were so much fun and I would highly recommend. So I gotta thank Genius Games again for sending me these jigsaw puzzles. I'll include their link in the description below. And I have found homes for these too. They're gonna go to school so more kids can play with them and enjoy them. Yeah, I'm, I'm kinda sad. I might actually go build them each once more time because I really had fun building them. It was, it was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed them. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao. Rawr.